moving along here, you guys are for a treat. Uh, this next guy, he actually was in the finals of the Boston Comedy uh, Festival this year, which I think was the first year he was in it, which is incredibly impressive. Uh, it's very funny. Please welcome Mayron. with two. I was, uh, I had two when I came out, and then uh, my body ate one in uh, its first act of rebellion against the patriarchy. My body ate one of my nuts. And, um, and they cut me open to look for it, and they couldn't find it. And so I was listed as a medical anomaly in the United States and the UK because they couldn't find it. And uh, I found this out when I came out to my mother in the car. And I was like, hey mom, I think I'm bisexual. Which is for the record. Just tepid gay. That's room temperature gay. And uh, it really, it's just, it's gay waiting, waiting to reach a boil. And uh, so, so, I'm bisexual. And so I'm like, I'm bisexual. And then she reaches into the glove compartment of the car and pulls out a letter, a certified letter, that says that I'm a medical anomaly in the United States of United Kingdom. Because my body ain't when I'm a medical anomaly. It's not that you are gay so much as that your body eats testicles. And then, so she explained that to me. I'm an Iranian. Have we covered that? That I'm an Iranian homosexual, that I'm a real live clear president, and they said it couldn't be done. But, um, so one ball, one ball, and, um, so I found out that because uh, of this letter that, that actually confirmed that I was a medical anomaly, that I could take medical leave from work uh, that I hated to be given Percocets and money. So I, if I got a fake ball, right? So I went and got a fake ball. So I have one ball that's actually sizable. I hate to brag about my one ball. I hate to brag about it, but it's hefty and I didn't really have some weight on it and uh, like a goose egg, just a big and proud and full of seminal vesicles. And then I have another one, which is far too small and full of saline or tears. <laughs> So I get the fake ball, and, uh, and uh, after a lengthy recovery, I should tell you what happened while I was recovering. I, um, I put an ad on Craigslist looking for a roommate. And, uh, and in the ad, I identified my, myself as a gay white male, right? So I get a call from this man who's like, oh, hi, I uh, saw your ad in the paper. I'm like, oh, hi, it's very nice to meet you. I'm very, I'm on five Percocets. It's, uh, it's great to talk to you on the phone. And uh, he's like, yeah, and he starts asking all the right questions about the apartment, and it was so clear that he was sane. He was like, why'd your last roommate move out? Sanest question you could be asked, right? Why did your last roommate move out? Like, are you crazy, right? That's, that's putting it on the other person. That's smart. That's a smart thing to do. And so I'm like, all right, I'm with you. And I'm like, no, no. He's like, well, uh, how open-minded are you? I'm like, well, I, I took a, a decent amount of acid at UMass Amherst. I mean, is that, is that what we need? He's like, yeah, well, and then his voice changed. It was just like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde effect. And he was like, yeah, because I like to go to the gym, and then when I get home, I like to, I like to walk around the house naked. I was like, oh, really? Because I won't be out crazy. I will not be out crazy on my own phone. I will not be out sex or out crazy. Any of you who want to play sexual crazy chicken with me after the show, we'll see who fucking wins. It'll be me who wins. It'll be me who fucking wins. And, uh, and so, he's like, yeah, I like to get naked. I'm like, so long as you put newspaper down on the, on the, on the furniture, or you give me a heads up so I don't invite my friends over, be new, see if I can shit number one. And, um, so then, he was just like, yeah, well, maybe I'll come over at three. I'm like, yeah, well, maybe you will. And then he ends up. I'm like, I'm never going to see this asshole again. Three o'clock on the dot. He calls. Yeah, I'm uh, actually in your neighborhood. And it's same man again. I'm like, you know what? I probably misjudged him. He shows up. The hair is parted in the middle. He looks like a Dutch boy. He's clear. He does work out. That was no shit. And a uh, happy pressed and striped shirt. I'm like, please come in. And so whatever. And he's like, he's, and once again, totally sane kicking the tires around the apartment like a smart person would. And then uh, I, like, he was too sane. And so I was like, uh, would you like to see the apartment in the manner in which you described on the phone? <laughs> He's like, yeah! I like, he changed again! I was like, yes! I said the bachelor was like, ever could ever! And then, uh, so then I walk out of the room because this is just too fucked up. And, uh, and I see him, I'm buttoning a shirt, I'm like, da 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 and I am wearing nothing under this. So then, um, like, nothing. He said very long underwear. And he had a like, tall underwear, and um, so I leave him. 
and I go back into the room and he's nude. Nude and very fit, and his buttocks are like, God, like, the back is like, God, like, he's just beautiful. Geese and Sheffer in flight. Like, just the back, just the V. Beautiful. And, um, and he's fidgeting with the window, and, uh, and so I go to the neighboring window, and I'm like, all you do is pull the cord. That's all you have to do. Like, I'm giving him instructional, and he's like, oh, really? And presents to me the single largest dick I've seen in my life. I've seen Billy. I've seen so many, not even with the internet. Fuck the internet. Like, I've been hit by thousands of dicks. I've literally been, like, battered by, like, if my mouth was at the end of a conveyor belt, or, uh, or like, if I were Apollo, it would be like, dicks are on it, the sunburst, and, uh, I'm so, um, so dicks, but they're huge, and, um, just crackling and warm, you know what, like, a dick is like an electric heater, like, like, it's just, like, that hard that it's actually sucking moisture out of the air, and, uh, things are getting drier, and I'm mummifying, and, uh, and so, it's tremendous, just absolutely tremendous. And, uh, and so I walk away just to like let it breathe or whatever. And, uh, and then I, I find him when I when I like return to him. I to I was like meditating, I was chanting. Right? I go back and he's in front of this like long mirror that I have in my hallway, and he's like, yeah, yeah. And he's making the worst fucking faces at himself. And I'm like, would you like help with that? And, uh, and so he's like, yeah. And, uh, and so I'm like, would you, uh, I have some lubricant in the other room, would you like me? He's like, yeah, it's dry! I'm like, this is crazy! But I will not back down. And, uh, so I go and I get the lubricant and I just masturbate him furiously. And he shoots like a Swedish shower. Like, a, like, a, like remember the cheat that take commercials from the 80s? Just like, like, a, like just be like a Jackson Pollock. He painted me. And, uh, Uh, he ruined my tracksuit. He absolutely ruined <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Marilyn. I thank you so much for your attention.